Hey guys, it's Jimin here back again in our video. Before we get the video started, make sure to smash the like button, dragon punch that subscribe button, and also turn on that notification button so you never miss out on a video. And also, if you want to go an extra step, you can click that join button and get me as a friend in Dragon Vale. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the video. Hey guys, it's Jimin here, back at in a Dragonville video. Super excited about today. Today is our first ever Dragonville tour for Epic Dragon members. We recently got our first Epic Dragon member on the channel. His name is Z. Thank you so much, Z, for becoming an Epic Dragon member. You're the best, man. Thank you for your support. Your support is awesome. I can't thank you enough, man. So today, we are doing our first ever Dragonville tour for Epic Dragon members. So let's get started. And if you want to become an epic dragon member all you have to do is go down there there'll be a, a join button join button next to the subscribe button and you click that join button you can be as a friend in dragon veil and also be in these park tours if you become an epic dragon member so yeah but today z is an epic dragon member so we're going to do our first ever dragon veil park tour with z for his epic dragon level so yeah if i can get the park to load it's not loading there we go now it's loading so we're going to visit this park Talk about his park, see if there's anything he needs to improve. And yeah, I have not visited Z's park yet, so I'm actually kind of curious on how this is going to go. So yeah, let's get started. And we're going to visit his whole park and also visit his rift. So yeah. So don't forget, if you want to become an Epic Dragon member, you can click that join button and that'll be awesome. Okay, and that support will be amazing and thanks so much if you do that. Okay, so first of all, I have to say this. That's a lot of resources. Crazy amount of gems. Crazy amount of crystals, crazy amount of food, and crazy amount of gold. Okay. That's nice. That's a lot of resources. I'll say that. That's all I'll say. Okay. First of all, we have this park, of course, with the legendary Gaia maxed out. By the looks of it's maxed out. And we also have a victory dragon just chilling there being a cutie. In uh in Gaia's love, I guess you could say. That's nice. Or you know. And also he has most of the in-game items. He has the in-game item for Timina Bahamut. He has Goody's Greenhouse. No, yeah, no, not that green, Goody's Greenhouse. He has the Goody's Treatery. Uh, both of them, he has both of them so he can friend, send food to friends. So if you guys are looking for friends right now, friend Z, he has the thing that literally sends you food. I think he sends you bonus food too. And also, the Twilight Tower, the Hibernation Cave, the rest of the in-game items, and the most new in-game item that enhances your dragons and changes their form with a spell form. So that's pretty cool. And he also has both Goody Greenhouses. So he does have Goody's Greenhouses. He has both of them. Okay, he also has a weather station set on thunder. That's nice. He also has a Coliseum, the epic, no, not epic, enchanted breeding cave. Dragon Sciatry, so he can send gems to his friends, extra gems. He also has two monolith dragons just chilling, breeding together. And one's with an earth trait, so that's pretty cool. Let's check how many dragons he has right now. So he has a total of 431 dragons. So 431, that's pretty good. And he has 288 pedestals and two decorations. And yeah, he's doing a pretty good job, I must say. And he's only, oh yeah, he has a level 130, so that's fine. That's perfect. That's actually really good for your level. Uh, and also, he has nothing in cult right now. He also has the pull plaza, but everyone has the pull plaza. Next, he has the spell form area, which everyone has right now. And he also has some pretty cool gemstones. He's got some J. He's got some really rare gemstones, like the one I'm not going to be able to read, but I'll show you to you guys real quick. He also has ruby, which is really nice. He has himself some more gemstones, a lot of gemstones at that, so that's pretty good. He has my favorite gemstone, Topaz. Man, I love me those Topaz dragons. He also has a maxed out Kairos, so that's pretty cool. Also, he has a whole island dedicated to air theme, so that's pretty nice. He also has a whole like lost island, but it's based on gemstone theme, which I really do like. That's really smart, Z. I like that. Uh, we also have all the treaties in the game by looks of it. I don't think I'm missing any of them in here unless he has the special gold one. He probably has the special gold one somewhere. I just don't see it. Because the special gold one has a like, gold on the side of the thing. So if I can find it real quick, I'm going to show you guys. I don't see it right now, so he might not have it. It looks like he has all the platinum statues or shrines or whatever you want to call them. And also he has the relic of the epic and monument of the epic, which is nice. So you can take his epic level 20. He also has a light theme, but has a bunch of rainbow dragons. I've actually never seen this habitat maxed out, the rainbow habitat. So that actually looks really good. And I like what he did with the light theme. You put them all around. And it actually fits perfectly on the island too, so which is really nice. Okay, lightning theme with nothing on it. My phone's about to die. We're just going to ignore that. We also have two islands that are still being worked on. 
I'm guessing these are going to be for pedestal islands, but I'm not 100% sure, so we'll see. Okay, next thing, we have ourselves the Legendary Dragon, Legendary Dragon Wealth. I was going to say like Bahamut and also Timido were Legendary Dragons, but they're not. They're Mythical Dragons, which is almost the same, but not. And also, four more gemstone habitats. He also has a nice little island with a water theme with some... I'm not going to be able to say this right, so I'm not going to say it. I was going to say the name of this habitat, but I'm not going to be able to say it right, so I don't want to say it and mess it up. Uh, we also have some special gemstones. I just call them that, or, you know, special gemstones. He has a pretty good collection of them. He has a pretty good collection of all the dragons so far. He's done a really good job, I must say. Also, he has some butterfly habitats with nothing in them that I can see. He might have something if I'm not looking right. Oh, yeah, here you go. He has a few dragons in his habitat. That's pretty nice. He also has his gargantuan island showing with a bunch of pedestals. I actually do like that. Does he have a rare sumi pedestal? That'd be kind of crazy if he does. I, I think he has it possibly. I'm not seeing it, so I'm not going to worry about it right now. But he probably does. Um, we also have the overgrown island just chilling with nothing on it. He's probably designing for something for that. He also has himself the nice seasonal dragons on a plant theme, which is really nice. Treasure dragons on a light theme. Okay, I would have gone with a treasure theme, but that's just me. He also has a lava theme for his middle island. I just call it middle island because it's kind of like in the middle. And it has some really cool dragons. They're mostly babies, as you can tell. And he also has this one, the cherry blossom tree dragon. I call it that because it's easier to say. He also has some earth theme, some dark theme, some light theme. And yeah, he has a lot of good dragons right now. And of course, lightning theme. You gotta have a lightning theme if you have all the other element themes. He has a water theme with some nice water dragons on it. The monolith dragons. I actually do like it how he's placing all the habitats on like one island matching the theme. I kind of like that. That's really nice. I wish I could do that, but I really have to fix all my islands before I do that. He also has all those special habitats in the game maxed out leveled. So that's really cool. He has Olympus on, he has Apocalypse on, and he also has the Fury Dragon shown, of course. You gotta have a Fury Dragon's adult form and baby form, because they're just really cool, and we got the vote on this dragon, so that's pretty awesome. So you kinda wanna have both. Now he just needs the teen form. I might do that. Okay, and we also have a Sun Moon theme, which is actually really nice. I do like that, how he does that. And he's got himself a baby moon, a few baby moons actually, and a solar eclipse, and some Dawn Dragon. Yeah, not Dawn Dragons with an S. He has one Dawn Dragon. He also has a Dream theme, which is kind of like, that's kind of cool, because it's got like dark. It's not like dark light. I wish they make a dark light theme. That kind of be crazy awesome, but they haven't done that yet. But if they do, that would be amazing. He has, some, has some dragons on the island, and he has a bunch of habitats with extra dragons, which is pretty cool. And he also has a bunch of extra habitats, so if he needs any extra space, he has it. He's got it. Also, he has himself, looks like all the galaxy islands in the game, of course. I'm not that surprised. Actually, I think he's missing one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. I thought there was eight, but I could be wrong. And there is also the mountain sun guy. So if you're looking for a friend who's mountain sun, who's in the same clan as you, easy guy. Yeah. Okay, so now that we visit his whole park, I'm gonna zoom out real quick so you guys can get a few seconds to look at this. I think it looks really good as park. The resources he has are crazy, so that's kind of insane. Uh but yeah. Anyways, let's go visit his rift now that we viewed his park. His rift is probably looking insane too. Actually, dang, I wish I did this. <laughs> I can't do this, but he did the almost like I think a few players have done this actually, but it's really hard to do them get all the fog out of your rift. So what he's done is actually removed all the fog in his rift, but I'm not that surprised. He also has himself a nice corrupticorn dragon just chilling, one of the rarest dragons in the game. And it looks like I can get something from this, a lot of gold from that. That was kind of crazy. And he also has a bunch of other dragons. He's working on his rift by the looks of it. I think he actually might have all the habitats in the rift. But I'm not 100% sure. But his rift looks really nice. I do like it how he made it a big square and cleared all the fog. That's like one of the coolest things you can do in Dragonville right now. It's kind of like a theme you do. Because if you do that, you're just like, yeah, I'm awesome. That's like, that's kind of the thing. I want to do it, so we'll see if I can do it. But he did a great job on this. So yeah, this is Z's Park. So yeah, if you did enjoy the video today, make sure... To smash the like button, dragon punch the subscribe button, and also again Z, thank you again for becoming an epic dragon member. I can't thank you enough, man. Your support is amazing. Times two, that's awesome. And by the way, your park looks awesome. I love the rift, how you have a square, and also love how you have each of the themes in your islands having a nice design and also going with a certain idea, like the earth, the fire, and just like lightning straight to it, basically just focusing on one element alone on each island. I love that. But yeah. I hope to see you guys next time, and thank you again, Z, for becoming an Epic Dragon member. You're the best, man.
g-man out.